Hey you guys, it's Rachel here with Sins of Tempo County Corso. So I'm out here with Trinity. And this is Trinity's goodbye video. Trinity has found a home. She's going to be living in Georgia. And um, we're really excited for her. Come on, girl. Mm. It's like the dogs know. She's running around like usual. <whistles> Quiet down. All right, where'd she go? There she is. So she's 100% um, back at her um, pre-birth weight and condition. Very muscular, looking really good. Very athletic and fit. Still got her bark collar on. And so, Trinity, I'll tell you the story on Trinity. So, Trinity was a daughter. Um, she was a pick of the litter daughter out of my, um, out of my preacher and cashmere litter. My second to last litter out of them. And the breeder who was going to buy her um, ended up having some issues in his kennel. And um, a male that was having some issues. And so we basically let him know that until he could show proof that that male had been neutered, we could not um, put her in their home because, you know, we we got to make sure that um, we're not spreading stuff that shouldn't be spread. So um, needless to say, I never heard from the guy again. And, um, and so I, I gave her as a gift to Reese for her kennel and then Reese ended up, um, giving her back to me and she needed to make room. Um, and so she gave her back to me and I put her to first breeding. I put her to, um, Mad Mortigan. We had 13 puppies and, um, unfortunately we had a tragedy and we lost the vast majority of those puppies to parvo um, after an ear cropping visit and we bred her again to mad mortigan and i think she had like 10 puppies that time and they all made it and they're all happy and out there in their lives um and then the last time we bred her so she's only ever had three litters we bred her um, to an import male from Serbia out of Italian uh, Dill Dirium lines, and his name is Alpha, and he's in a he's at a kennel called Cape Fear Cunny Corso, and so we bred her to him, and I kept something back. So twice now I've kept back puppies. I have a female that is very much like her mother. Um, her name is Switch. And she's out of Mad Mortigan and her. And then the other puppy that I've kept back is Saffron. And she's a really pretty um, black female. We'll give her some privacy while she poops. Um, Saffron is out of uh, that alpha male, import male. And uh, both of them are really beautiful dogs. Switch for sure is show quality. And I may very well put her out there. Um, the one good thing that I love about all of my preacher stuff is that he throws really good fronts. And so Switch has a front and so does, um, I believe so does Saffron. I'd have to look for sure because, um, but I'm pretty sure she does have a front. And so that's one of the cool things. Now rears, not something that I was getting out of this stuff. Top lines, usually not the, so I had to put all of my preacher stuff to really strong rears and top lines because that's not something that he was going to be able to provide as well as length although I will say that I, I did get to pretty decent length anyway um out of the dogs so but <clears throat> having said that yeah not their not their greatest assets as far as the rears and the top lines but um they do have front assemblies in there that they will throw and that's pretty awesome because rears and top lines are pretty easy to fix, but fronts are harder to get. So, um, anyway, so it was, it was a cool little thing that I found with my stuff, um, that, um, that has been a, a, a game changer for me because I've been able to produce fronts, 
which is oftentimes pretty hard for people to be able to do. Um, so she's, gosh, about four years old, I believe. And, um, and her last breeding, she had a cesarean. She did have some complications. And at that time, I decided that I didn't want to breed her anymore. Um, she had some swelling, some fluid retention, and ultimately did need a cesarean. Really, the cesarean was kind of a separate issue. She had two puppies that were trying to come out at the same time and one had died. But aside from that, she also had an elevated white blood cell count. And so it was clear that there were multiple issues going on. And, um, oh... So they haven't eaten yet today. That's why she's been eating grass. We had a really late night um, um, we had to take Midnight Bizu to the emergency vet um, because um, she got into something she shouldn't have. And so it was a tense it was a tense night for my son and I too, but everybody's gotta learn, you know what I mean, someplace and um, I know, and, um, and I'm not, you know, it, it just, it is the way it is, like, it's, you know, it's not his fault, I'm not mad at him, but it was a long night, so, uh, ah, sh 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 quit, no, don't do that again, no, leave it be, so, um, anyway, I'm fixing to head to the store, but I wanted to, to get this video out for you guys, because sometimes I get to, I get to rocking and rolling and doing whatever I got to do and I forget to film for you guys and I know that a lot of people love Trinity so I did want to talk about that. But um but that's kind of the story of Trinity. That's that's why we retired her. Now, I will say that it's it's pretty unusual for me to breed a female much longer than this anyway. I probably would have only ever had bred her at the very most two more times and honestly, I never would have even bred her that many times because I have quite a bit of her genetics um, in her sister Blondie. Um, now I did keep back different things off of them, and so that's cool. Um, but um, but anyway, but um, so basically, I have my preacher cashmere stuff in her and Blondie. However, I put them to different sires, and so like Nirvana is off of Achilles. Hefe was off of <clears throat> Hefe was off of um, uh, Batista. And I'm getting something off of Scoob, which is a sister of Hefe. And then, of course, Trinity, as I said, was put to Alpha in my Mortigan. So even though it's the same mother, it's all four different sires that I have the genetics on. Um, and that's kind of how I did that. <clears throat> but, um, <clears throat> pardon me, but if I'm going to breed a female longer, like, for example, Asia has produced very well for me. Um, Mona has produced very well for me. Nirvana has produced very well for me. So, you know, there might be a case where I would breed them longer, um, but I don't see myself ever breeding a female past five years of age. And the reason for that is, and I know that a lot of people would be like, well, you know, because there's a lot of breeders that breed well past that. A lot of um, breeders breed six, seven-year-old dogs, but heck, even way older than that, actually, let's just be honest. But for me, um, two reasons why. One, uh, <clears throat> I know that um, from a scientific standpoint, fertility does begin to drop at around four years of age. And so I know that, that you know, a basis off of when we should be tidying up our, our, our breedings, as far as for me, because I want, um, I want to have the best eggs the best production time and then beyond that I want to keep back the best that I can out of that and then retire that female move her on into a pet home while she's still young and vibrant um, and can have a really fantastic home than to end up with subpar conditions for all my dogs and having to buy um, not as high quality food and like all this stuff because I have so many dogs that that it's too much of a burden. And I think a lot of breeders end up as hoarders because they're not able to retire their dogs. And so um, it hurts. Don't get me wrong. It's a hard thing to do because you love them and you've had them. But the reality is that it, it really is the best thing for the dog. And it's the best thing for all the dogs. And so for me, um, for me, you know, I think it's the most ethical thing to do. If you can look past the uh, the initial 
um, moving on from their original home in, in, in you're in my industry, you'll see that it really is the most ethical thing to do. So anyway, um, I'm going to get going y'all. Um, I've got to run some errands and I've just got a whole lot to do and I'm slightly overwhelmed. I'm definitely, um, did not get the sleep that I need. I'm a little wired, a little tired. <laughs> so I'm going to get my booty inside and I'm just really happy that Trinity got her new home. It, these people are fantastic. They've owned large, powerful breeds. Um, they're retired, I believe. They, they're home all the time, and it's just going to be wonderful for them, and I'm really happy about that. So I hope you guys are having a good day, and I'll talk at you later. Bye!